The Integrity Commission was finally named today after months of pressure from all sectors of society and some wrangling over the nominees themselves. However, according to Chair Marilyn Williams, their purpose and scope remains the same. My policy and my practice has always been to do all that is necessary and as is ordered or prescribed under the Act. And so that's what we will do. I mean, the Act uh, allows us to look at the um, declarations that are submitted and look over them carefully and come to a determination where a certificate will then be issued to say everything is in compliance. And if not, then we call this specific member in and have discussions until such time as we feel that the declarations are in order. Uh, the other thing is to deal with those acts that have been defined by the act as uh, meeting the definition of corruption. We can then conduct an investigation and at that point we will decide after we've done the investigation, which allows us to interview um, the person that the complaint is made against, to interview um, any witnesses that we feel might be necessary in terms of making a decision with regard to the whole process. And then we, if we feel that the matter needs to go further, then we submit it to the office of the DPP. Williams and her colleagues, Armid Gabriel, Lisbeth Delgado, Wilmot Simmons, Nestor Vasquez, Melissa Balderamos Mahler, and Claude Greenidge today swore to treat all who come into their care with neither affection nor ill will important considering their respective political backgrounds. I will participate as is appropriate, as is required by the Integrity Commission. I am. Um, I play my role. For me, doing my job as being affiliated to a certain political party will has nothing to do with the job that I will be performing. The deadline for declarations is December 31st, with an extension up to March if needed. But as per the name of the body itself, it is personal integrity that remains the key to making it all work. You've got to look at the entire document. It's sort of like doing a financial investigation. You know, when someone submits their financials, you look at it and you, you ask yourself, given the fact that line one says this, does line two make sense? Does line 10 make sense? So it's not something that I can say to you right now, there is a red flag we're going to be looking for. We have to look at the, the document as a whole and see whether it all makes sense. Everyone that makes a declaration to the Integrity Commission are aware that should be an honest statement, and if it is so, there should be no problems arising out of it. It's simple as that. The people in public life, being the House of Representatives, the Senate, and all other elected officials throughout the country, all they will need to do here is just submit. There's a form that they will have to submit their assets and their liabilities and all their incomes, and just be honest. Just be honest on your submission, and from there we'll go on. But we'll not be with chanting anybody. From Belmopan, Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.